Welcome to Dr. Deborah Shelley's Human Anatomy Tutorial. In this video, we'll be going over some of the muscles in the shoulder and also the muscles in the arm. So this big muscle right here on your shoulder is your deltoid. It has a broad base up here and then a single attachment point on your humerus. Because of how broad it is, depending on where in the muscle you activate, it does many different functions. So you can abduct your arm, flex, extend, or rotate in any direction that you want, depending on where you activate it. Now the next one, I wanna take this off for you so you can see it a little better. So this guy right here, this is your teres major. This kind of wraps around the humerus and attaches over here, which you can't really see in this model, but it does, trust me. And that's gonna allow you to medially rotate your arm. The one right superior to it is teres minor. So remember our, our kind of rule where when you have minor and majors, the one superior and smaller is the minor and the one inferior and larger is the major. So this one right here is Terry's minor and it just comes along and attaches right here. So it's going to allow lateral rotation. Directly superior to that is the infraspinatus muscle, right? So infra means below, spinatus, spine. So it's the muscle below the spine right here that is also going to allow lateral rotation of the arm. And then the other one, gotta flip it around. This is subscapularis, sub below, scapularis, scapula, right? So the one below the scapula, right? So subscapularis, the one below the scapula, it's going to allow you to immediately rotate your arm. Right? And then on this model, it's not the best, but you can still see it, so we'll point it out. This one right here, the muscle above the spine, so supraspinatus muscle. This allows you to abduct your arm. Okay. So now the major muscles of the arm. You have your biceps brachii, which most of us are familiar with. And then directly underneath that, directly deep to it, is the brachialis muscle. Both of these will flex your forearm, look like this. And then very deep in the armpit, you have this guy, and it's the coracobrachialis muscle. It adducts the arm. Then this major muscle in the back, it has three heads, but you don't need to know that. So the whole thing is the triceps brachii, and that is the antagonistic muscle to these two in the front. So it extends the forearm. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of some of the muscles in the shoulder and the muscles of the arm.